hello friends this is anand welcome to my channel anybody can do in this video i am going to discuss a questions from question from gate cs 2019 the question is from c programming let us see the number of times see we need not calculate the sum in this question they were asking the number of times the variable sum will be printed again see we need not calculate the final value of sum what we need to do this is the loop which starts here and which ends here how many times the variable sum will be printed so we just need to count the number of times sum will be printed when the above program is executed okay so let us solve this program which is very simple so we have few variables sum equals to 0, 0.0 j equals to 1.0 i equals to 2.0 and then we have the loop so which starts from here and which ends here and we need to find out the number of times the variable sum will be printed okay we are not bother about the actual value of sum we just need to count one time twice thrice four times five times or ten times this print time function will execute so let us see so what is the value of i so value of i is 2.0 let me write here the value of i which is 2.0 what is value of j which is 1.0 which is greater than equals to 0 0.0625 so this condition is true see 2.0 divided by 1.0 which is nothing but 2 2 greater than 0 0.0625 which is true so my j value becomes j becomes 1.0 plus 1.0 which is nothing but 2.0 so this print type uh, so this sum is uh, sum is equal to sum plus i plus j so we are not bother about this uh, what is the exact value of sum we just need to calculate so okay so here i'll just write printf statement executed once okay so printf statement executed first time now this is the while loop so now what is initial value of j was 1.0 now my j is what 2.0 my i i we are not changing so my i value is here 2.0 and j value still uh, j value is now 2.0 and greater than 0.0625 so 2.0 divided by 2.0 which is nothing but 1 1 greater than 0.0625 which is true so what is my j j value is now 2 so 2 plus 2 which is nothing but 4 so this printf statement executed second time okay now my i value is still 2 and j value is now what 4.0 greater than equals to 0 0.0625 so 2 divided by 4 which is nothing but what 0 0.5 0 0.5 greater than 0 0.0625 which is true so in this case my j will be 4.0 plus 4.0 which is nothing but 8.0 and this printf statement will execute third time now again the loop will get executed so my i is 2.0 and what is my j j is now 8.0 which is greater than 0 0.0625 so 2 divided by 8 nothing but 1.4 oh, sorry 1 by 4 and 1 by 4 it's nothing but uh, 0 0.125 so which is greater than 0 0.0625 so my j is now 16 so 8.80 nothing but 16 so printf statement executed four times now 2 i is 2 and j is now 16.0 greater than 0 0.0625 again this condition is true so 1 by 8 1 by 8 is nothing but uh, 0 0.125 okay uh, uh, 2 by uh, 1 by 8 1 by 8 is nothing but uh, 0 0.0125 so again this condition is true so j is now 16 plus 16 which is nothing but 32 and the printf statement will get executed fifth time now 2.0 divided by 13.0 so 
so in this case this value is false so this statement is not true so 2.0 divided by 32.0 maybe this is 1 by 16 and again we will get 0.0625 greater than 0.0625 this time this condition is false and then print if statement won't get executed because here condition is false it will come out of the loop the number of times the variable sum will be printed when the above program is executed so correct answer is 5 so 5 times number uh, print if function will get executed so correct answer is 5 see you in the next video till then bye take care thank you